We all like a really good deal. In fact, promotions and offers and products can increase your profits quite rapidly. With Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and the holiday seasons ahead, many people are now putting products up for sale. But can any type of business offer products, even if they don't have a shop? Could you offer your services as products? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you that regardless of what your business type is, you can get products and offers out there. And I'm gonna give you two good reasons why you need to do that today if you want to maximize your business profit. Also, we'll look at this sales wave, and also how a French market can inspire you to do the right things to get more sales. So let's take the first area you need to consider and it's really down to the wave. So this is the annual tidal wave that's going to come along very soon. So at what point do you think you should be putting your offers out and preparing for them? Is it A, B or C? Well, the answer is A. You know, heading into that potential spike without a strategy is like turning up to a marathon without your trainers and without any preparation at all. And the trouble is, is most react too late. They wait until it's actually arrived, so they go for B or C, and by then, of course, they've already missed out. The algorithm hasn't really caught them as an offer, and so before long they wonder why it is that they don't succeed with offers and products. So in a moment, we'll show you some really good ways in which you can strategize and do that today in preparation for some further sales. Now, before I show you how the French market also can help you, let's look at the second area that is the reason why you need to get your products and offers out there today. And it's the fact that every business can do this. So you don't need a shop to sell products. For example, if you have a home gym where you train perhaps a personal trainer, you could package things up into perhaps timescales. Or maybe if you've got several lessons, you could get one free every five you buy. And in that way, you can then do offers with that product too. It could be for beauticians or hairdressers. They package up two or three things. Maybe one of those things is free with the package. That's another way of selling the product. But the reason why we're particularly intent on offering products is that Google's now rewarding that. Google's wanting businesses to offer products and it's actually spent some time recently in making products come to the fore of the Google business profile. So I mentioned earlier that any business can have products and I'm now gonna show you four ways in which we can get these products up on Google business profile and also how you can then attach a offer to that product to help increase sales in the coming few months. So the first thing to do is to actually add the products themselves. And the best way to get an idea as to what's working is to look at what your competitors are doing. So do a search for your type of business locally and see what products others are offering. And that will inspire you to see what's working. And that'll also give you some ideas as to perhaps ways in which you've not thought of packaging your products, particularly if you're not actually having a shop where you've got products to sell. Once you've got an idea, then think in terms of what would work for you, how you could offer that product, and then you can go to Canva or Photoshop and produce a graphic that you can then upload, and then you can just think about how you're going to word it too. Google's recently been refocusing on how products are presented, and of course, if you've got a wide range of products, there are some third party ways in which you can integrate it into your shop as well. But there was a previous video I've shown how you can do that. You can also put some schema markup into your Black Friday page or any of your pages. You can put the offers in, you can have the URLs and the images, just follow it through on the process. I'll put a link down below so that you can then go to produce this. And you can see how Google is really rewarding this as well because it now picks this up it shows these results. You can even test it with Google too. So you can just go to the page once you've uploaded it into your website or you've added it to your HTML. You can then check to see if that source code works. If it works, you can add it then into your code. And that just means that Google's gonna pick this up and put your products into its results. So it will do it not only with Google Business Profile, but it can do it also by means of these rich results using the markup. Secondly, you need to appeal to customers and do that through offers. Now offers is another section of Google Business Profile. So you've got to think in terms of what is it your customer would really respond to as an offer, particularly with a Cyber Monday sale or a Black Friday sale coming up. You might want to then think in terms of what would work, would a percentage off work, would perhaps a buy one, get one free work. This is where that story of the French market comes in because when you look like I was recently at a French market, you just notice that some things work and some things don't. So in this case, you can see this guy, it's prime time, lunchtime, but no one's buying from him. 
And yet in this very same market just around the corner there, this guy has got a 30 minute queue of people wanting and waiting to take his food. Now it may be that once you get a certain amount in the queue, FOMO kicks in where people have this fear of missing out. Why is it everyone's going there? Maybe that must be the best place to purchase dinner at this time. The fact is, is you get this kind of escalation once people feel they're missing out. So that's one thing to learn from this French market. And secondly, just adapt. If what you're selling isn't selling, well then see what your competitor's doing so well. Why, why are they queuing? Find out why and then see if you can better or improve or even at least offer something similar to get people to come to your store. So FOMO appeals to people's fear of missing out, but also with offers you can use humour, you can use pain, you can use curiosity. In fact, if you appeal to the human nature, you'll find that offers get a great response. Now the third area is to just test the products out and to do it from a customer's perspective. So if you click on this offer, and it takes you through to a landing page on the business. And then on the landing page, you can't purchase that offer or it's the wrong link, or it just doesn't load fast enough. Well, that's not going to get sales. So test it, see how it works. In fact, ask two or three people externally outside of your business to try and make a purchase. You want the customer's journey to make that sales to be as seamless as possible. The fourth area that you could look at is the evergreen wheel. If you've got, say, a Black Friday offer, you'd be better off making sure that that landing page is just known as the Black Friday landing page because Google will also spider it and it will give it some authority this year. But next year, if you've then changed that page to, say, 2023, Black Friday 2023, it's a new page and then you're starting again. So don't keep reinventing the wheel. Once you've got a sales page up and running, then keep referring to it. Just update it, put new offers on it. If people link through to that offer as well, that also will build the authority of the page. So create a single static page for your sales. And I'd also include a few reviews from previous customers as well. Now, of course, you've got your Google business reviews. So maybe you want to implement one or two of those on there. There's a great widget and plugin that I've shown on a previous video as to how you can do that. And that will also help encourage and build authority and trust. But of course, getting great reviews is a really easy thing to do once you have a strategy Strategy. So if you want to know the strategy of how I get great reviews, then head over to this video.